You're live on Lunch Break Live. Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining me. All right, Chef Melissa. Melissa, what do you got going? Um, today, I'm going to make a golden beet poke for you. Um, it's traditionally a fish dish in Hawaii, but we're going to make it with golden beets that kind of resemble the fish. It's super delicious. You're not going to miss the fish, I promise. All right, well, let's get cooking. All right, let's do it. Um, so I just started the rice here, so we're going to serve the dish over rice. Um, I have one cup of Thai jasmine rice. I really like that one, so that's what I'm using. Mm -hmm. And one and a quarter cups of water. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna bring that to a boil and then let it simmer for about 15 minutes and then let it rest for about 10 and then we'll fluff it and we'll put everything on it. So, All right, and what do we do in the meantime? We're gonna get started with the golden bee poke. All right, I love okay. this. So, let's see here. I have my recipe, so don't screw anything up. <laughs> Um, so these are golden beets. I've already roasted them yesterday. Let me take a look at these. Yeah. These are absolutely gorgeous. Now, where did you get these? I got these from Whole Foods. Okay, so you can get a beet, a golden beet, at a Whole Foods or any other supermarket or a farmer's mm -hmm. market. That's yeah. not tough. And did you cook them first? I cooked them first. So what I did is I removed the tops, the greens, and I scrubbed them really well, and I wrapped them in foil, and then I roasted them um, at 375 for about an hour. So and then, say that again. Uh, maybe you could hold one of these yeah. beets up and explain. Sure. So can you see the beets? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So what I did is they have the skins on and they have beet greens on top. So I cut the tops off and I scrubbed them really well with some water and then I wrapped them in foil and I roasted them in the oven for about an hour at 375. Okay. And the, yeah, then they were done and I took the foil off and then I removed the skins. They peel off very easily once they're roasted. Okay, perfect. So let's take it from there. Yes. So, and you can also buy them already pre-cooked at Trader Joe's. They have them in wedges already cooked if you mm -hmm. just oh, so want you to could buy them in, uh, in wedges already cooked and yes. then save that part, sure. All right. Hmm. This looks very, uh, and you are very meticulous and you did something lovely. You created a lunch break live. I'm, I have a mind to just snap that and run out with it. It's so great, <laughs> I use it every day. Uh, but maybe you can teach me how you did it. All right, so. Yeah. So now we're gonna cut the golden beets into chunks and then we're gonna make the sauce that we will add them to. Okay. Um, so you just want little chunks, kind of like fish size chunks. And if you see inside, it kind of resembles fish, unfortunately, but um, it does. So we're just gonna cut. Yeah, because chunks. fish often has that little veiny look and yeah. there it is right there. Uh, well, this is so wonderful because you get the same experience of having poke and no animal had to die. And no. it's better for you. It's cholesterol free. It's uh, filled with nutrition. And um, your story is amazing. We're going to hear it as we go through. But let's yeah. get this cutting done first. <laughs> well, there's going to be a lot of cutting. Oh, there is. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, be careful. <laughs> I know. We will. All right, we are making fishless poke using golden yellow beets. And we are here with uh, the founder of... Fork and Plants, that's Fork me. Fork and Plants, That's okay. the business I just started in December when I quit my full-time job to focus on food and healthy eating full-time. Wonderful. Okay, Fork and Plants. And if people want to find out about uh, Fork and Plants, where do they go? They can go to my Instagram, Fork and Plants, my mm -hmm. website, ForkandPlants.com. Okay. I also have a Facebook page, which I believe is linked here. Oh my God, William no. Gold says I'm eating tofu poke. Yeah. So wait, this is breaking news. You can also do poke with tofu? You can do it with anything. Um, really? Yeah, I, I tend to not eat a lot of tofu because it just doesn't sit well with me. So I prefer the soy-free version, which is with the golden beets. But, but for those who like tofu, and I'm somebody who eats tofu yeah. all the time, and I love it, uh, it's uh, it's something you could substitute. So think of tofu, probably firm or extra firm, yeah, and doing the same exact thing. Okay, so what's next? Up the sauce. Um, so we got the golden beets. Let's turn this down. All right, forkandplants.com. You see, f o r k i n p l a n t s dot com. Very simple, simple. Uh, name for your fabulous new company and I love yeah. the fact that you took the leap and and Thank left you. your, your day job and now you're doing this full time. I am. I love helping people eat healthier, live healthier lives so that's my goal especially as I watch people I love struggling with health issues that can be prevented with 
diet and nutrition, that's, that's my main goal is I want to help people so right. they don't have to struggle. Terrific. So now what? So now we're going um, to start making the sauce. So we have organic coconut aminos. Oh, wait, wait. Let me see that. Where'd you get that? This is from Trader Joe's. Yeah. Okay. Um, there we go. So this is one of these great little things to have. You know, you want a whole bunch of vegetables and fruits, but when you're going plant-based, get a lot of these great, and you can use them in many things, but organic coconut aminos is one. Okay, yeah. what's next? So I'm going to use some coconut aminos mixed with tamari. Okay, um, so and that's your like, standard like, tamari. Yeah, so it's a, a gluten-free soy sauce. Okay. So we're going to mix a little bit of those because the tamari is going to give it a little bit of saltiness and then with the coconut aminos, it's, it's a little bit sweeter. So okay. So we're going to mix those to get that balance. All right. And we're going to put two tablespoons of each in this bowl here. Okay. Once again, That's you're, not coming out. you're live on Lunch Break Live. We're making golden beet poke, which is generally a fish dish, but we're doing it without killing any fish, which is so much healthier for you and better for the planet. You know, we're overfishing like crazy. Um, our oceans are being depleted, and it's going to accelerate the collapse of the ecosystem. So we don't need to do it with dead animals. There is yes. no reason to do it with dead animals. What's this? So this is toasted sesame oil. Okay. Um, Trader Joe's toasted sesame oil. That's good. Okay. All right. This is my favorite one. I've tried other brands, and for some reason, I always come back to this one because it tastes the best to me. Mm -hmm. um, so this, we're going to add one tablespoon in here. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Lovely. I'm just going to check on the rice. All right. And we are live on Lunch Break Live near Hollywood, and I know you're going to be working uh, with some Hollywood people. I and hope so. That's yeah, the goal. Yeah, and uh, so let's keep moving, but when, yeah. you, when you need to let something sit for a while, we're going to hear your story. Yes. I'm just going to grab a whisk. Okay. Um, and this is all coming together very, very nicely. All right. So we got the sauce in there. Now we're going to add some scallions, onion, and we're going to grate some ginger. Ooh. So this is what a ginger root looks like. And where'd you get that? This I got at Whole Foods, I think, also. Okay. All right. I, I like 365 Whole Foods. Okay. Again, be careful with that knife. I know. Yes. I've used um, it a lot, so <laughs> okay. I still have all my fingers right now. Yeah. I'd like to keep them. So we're just going to cut the skin off of this ginger. And then I have a microplane here that we will use Ooh, what's that? to grate it. It's a microplane. Ooh. So it typically has um, a handle on it, but mine broke off. So okay. we hold it down here, and then you can use this to, like, if you want to zest a lime. Uh huh. You just do, do it on there, and then wow. you get the lemon zest, lime. Okay, so let's zest. Let's, uh, let's break down that ginger. Yeah, so let's see. This is, uh, you know, one of the reasons I never buy ginger is that I don't really have an understanding of how to break it down, and you just taught me. Yeah. Um, and so you just literally, you could also, I suppose, put it in a Cuisinart. Yeah, you could. Okay, and uh, <laughs> you could also buy it already. You could, yeah, you could grate they have or... it grated. That's why I buy my garlic, yeah. is uh, pre grated. So uh, we're grating this. This is uh, quite, quite an interesting process you have yeah. here. Yeah. Oh, look at that. I was wondering it's, where it's did just, it all go? It's just not falling <laughs> off, but it's there. Okay. All right. And uh, getting down to the fingers now. Yeah. Okay. And we are grating the ginger for yellow golden beet poke, which is a fish dish, and we're not using any fish. So that no makes fish. it healthier because, you know, fish are also taking in um, all the, the chemicals and all the terrible things that we're putting in the ocean. So you're getting a lot of guck when you get fish, too, on top of it all. People think, oh, fish, healthy for you. But the, really what's the healthiest is vegetables. Um, we all know what's been poured into the oceans. Mm -hmm. And uh, so there we go. That <laughs> is... <laughs> All right, we get that, we get yeah. all that. Okay, so you we're want a little bit more, that. but we're just going to do a little bit okay. today. Yeah, yeah, there we go. All that. right, we put the, the uh, uh, ginger in there. Yeah. And uh, so, what's the next thing? So, the next thing is the scallion, green onion. We're going to cut this into, uh, I like to fold it in half, a little trick. Oh. And then um, you just 
decrease your cutting time, basically. Okay. So I'm just going to cut little pieces, and then we're going to toss that in the marinade as well. Where did well. you learn how to cook all this? Um, well, I took the Ruby cooking course, but I've also been passionate about cooking. I grew up in a family of cooks, so we are. Uh, and you have an adorable kitchen. I just oh, want to show you. it. Um, This is my, my tiny kitchen. Mm -hmm. my, I have a tiny oven. It's not the best when you yeah, well, we don't uh, need like giant to bake anything and cook. anything to, to eat healthy. So we got the green onion. We got the ginger. Now we're going to cut up a Maui onion. Yeah. So Maui onions are sweet onions. Um, they're super good. This one I got from <coughs> uh, this one I got from Trader Joe's. It's kind of hard to find them, but Trader Joe's always seems to have them, at least in the summer. So what we're going to do is cut this in half, and then I like to leave this core intact. That's going to help hold it together oh, while you're cutting, and yeah. also um, it will make you cry a lot less. <laughs> okay. So that's always good. So leave one side with the Yeah, the, the core little, side. Yeah, like a sponge almost, or a mop, yeah. and then you take everything else out. Wow. Yeah, so we're going to peel that. Okay. Wow. Um, this is terrific. And then we're to, it looks like that, so we're just going to cut down this way, uh -huh. uh, really thin strips, and right. we're going to toss those in there. Mm -hmm. The recipe calls for half of one of these, but this one's a little bit bigger than normal, so probably put a little bit less in. Yeah. So then we have these thin strips here. Okay. So toss those in there. Mmm. Wow, look at that, delicioso. And then the onions, once they soak in the liquid a little bit, they'll start to soften and break down. So it's kind of marinating then. Yeah, not for long though. Yeah. All right, so we got that in there. Next up, uh, we'll put some lime juice in. Okay. So the lime, we'll put half of a lime's worth of juice in there mm -hmm. and then we'll oh, cut so some Oh, so you're wedges. gonna do it like this, okay. Yeah, this is how I, squeeze it. I don't know. Mm -hmm. You can use your yeah. hands too, but no, that's... I like using tools. This is way easier. So that's that. Okay. Just a half. Just a half. And then okay. we'll cut some wedges with this. Okay. It's basically just to taste. There's no real amount. And that takes off the bitterness of the onions. I mean, raw onions, yeah. especially the white raw onions, they're pretty intense. Yeah. So... These are better because it's a lot sweeter. Yeah. Okay. Um, and now we want to add some cilantro. Cilantro. We are once again Lunch Break Live featuring Chef Melissa. Hello. Of Forks and Plants. And she is making yellow golden beet poke, which is normally a fish dish, but we're making it with beets. And it's uh, very, very interesting and fun. Uh, looks like a, a great dish to make. We've chopped, she cooked and baked these beets and then peeled mm -hmm. them. And uh, then uh, she's putting, this is kind of like what, a sauce? Yeah, this is the sauce that's gonna coat everything. And then we're okay. gonna eat it over rice. Oh, wow. So we just Look toss some cilantro in there. Mm -hmm. Also to taste, so whatever you want. We'll reserve some for the top. Okay. And then let's turn off the rice here. Mm, all right, and I'm dying to see how this is assembled. So what we're gonna do is um, we're gonna put two cups of beets worth in um, in this marinade. Okay, let's do it. Do it to it. Make sure we got everything. All right, we're looking good. All right. So. And everybody's hands are clean. So. Yes. Don't get on us about that. You know, I always say the dirtiest place on the planet is slaughterhouse. So. Yeah. Uh, don't talk about. So we got don't talk food. about dirt when it comes to plants. This is the cleanest dish you could possibly imagine. Oh, and the amazing Gwenna Hunter of Vegan Outreach uh, right. is watching. Hi, Gwenna. And Carol Zarbano is watching. And Webb Tyrell, newly vegan, so always looking for great recipes using fresh yeah. produce, he says. Welcome, Webb. That's my Congrats. specialty. What? I love helping new vegans or people who are vegan curious. Yeah. I want to help change the world one bite at a time. Wonderful. So, so what, what advice would you give to a new vegan like Webb? Um, be gentle on yourself. You know, it's, it's hard if you go cold turkey, no. Cold tofurkey no, is what cold I say. Cold tofurkey. Um, some people can do it and some people can't. So if you want like a long-term success with it, just ease into it, go easy. 
Um, yeah, just be gentle on yourself. If you accidentally or on purposely have something that isn't vegan, don't beat yourself up about it. Yeah, uh, but you can make that transition. I know a lot of people have just, you know, you can yeah make you can it 100 percent. And I, you know, I use Absolutely. the analogy of alcohol. You know, I'm a recovering alcoholic with 23 years of sobriety, and I thought yeah. I could never live without a drink. And then one day. You know, I, I woke up and I haven't had a drink since. I didn't ease into yeah. it because you know what? Alcoholism says, oh, I can yeah. ease into it, but you can't. You got to yeah. do it. Yeah. So, ju you know, half measures avail us nothing. And I always say we have to let go of dead animals with complete abandon and jump into this new way of life, which is so joyous. We have a lot of fun. Yes. We always laugh. Yes. And there's no mistakes in a vegan kitchen because... Um, because nobody dies. Oh. Okay, so what's next? All right, so I think that this is good to go. Okay, so, so let's recap and review what is in this dish. So what is in this dish? We have the roasted- Hold it up, hold okay. it up and tell me tell me the whole sh shebang. So we have the roasted golden beets, which have been, um, there it is. The roasted golden beets, which we have cooked, removed the skins and cut up in here. And we have the tamari, which is a gluten-free soy sauce, and coconut aminos, which is kind of like a soy sauce, but a little bit sweeter, so we got that balance. And there's sesame oil. We also have some grated ginger, some green onion or scallion, and we have a Maui onion sliced up nice and thin, lime juice, cilantro, and then we're gonna put it over rice and top it with some sesame seeds, lime wedges, you can add Ooh. cucumber if you want. Oh my God, I am um, dying to try, taste yeah. test this. This is incredible. Webb Tyrell says, I'm even in a house full of carnivores. You know what? Lead by example. This is a yeah. program of attraction, just like um, sobriety is. You know, people see how, how much better you look and feel and how happier you are. There's so much depress depression in the United States. So many people taking uh, mood altering, you know, antidepressants and anti-anxiety. And you know what? Um, Yes, the beets are roasted. Tell us once they again are. how we roast them. So I roasted them whole. So you buy the whole beet, you remove the, uh, the beet greens, the tops of them, and then I scrub them really well and I wrap them in foil. And then I roasted them in the oven for about an hour at 375. Um, if your beets are smaller, they'll take less time. If they're massive, then they might take a little bit more than an hour. Can this meal be made with regular beets, the red ones? It can. Yeah, it'll just be very, everything will be very red. Um, <laughs> That's okay, yeah. But yeah, it'll taste a little bit different. Uh, red beets are a lot more dirt tasting, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, they're a little bit stronger, like earthy mm -hmm. flavor, whereas mm -hmm. the golden beets are a little bit sweeter, a little bit more and delicate. And somebody at the top of this uh, show said they make this same dish with tofu. So you can yeah. take extra firm tofu, slice it into chunks, and do the exact same thing. Yeah, and, definitely. And, you know, there's so much more variety in plant-based cooking. And that's the thing people don't realize. We only kill about half a dozen animals that we constantly make over and over and over again. But there are tens of thousands of vegetables. There are tens of thousands of fruits and nuts and grains. So the yeah. variety is actually better and greater on the plant-based side. Yeah, absolutely. I didn't even know half of these vegetables existed until I went vegetarian like 14 years ago. And when'd you go and, vegan? Uh, 2005. Okay, 13 years. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, and it, just the past few years is when I've actually started really getting creative and discovering new vegetables. I challenge myself to get something new from the farmer's market every time I go play with it. I made some cactus tacos a couple weeks ago. I've never made cactus before. I had no idea what I was doing, but it worked well. It tasted good. It's so, fun, right? It's it is creative. fun. It's so fun. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, much, much more creative than just putting a slab of meat, you know, and cooking it. Uh, yeah. And remember, you know, for people like, for example, people, oh, I, I couldn't give up chicken. Well, it's it's really tasteless. What, what tastes is the uh, dressings and the uh, savory things that you put on it, you yeah. know, all the dressings, like the various kinds of things that you do here. All right, so, yeah, is, so the, is the rice, how's the rice doing? Uh, I think the rice is probably okay. Okay, perfect. Um, I'm just gonna wash my hands once more, right. and then we're gonna and assemble. And there's the rice we're about to assemble. We are here on Lunch Break Live making, woo, how pretty, that beautiful rice. Poke, which is normally a fish dish, but we are making it with golden beets. And uh, she baked these golden beets in tin foil at 375 for about an hour. And then she added all these great ingredients, which include coconut aminos and tamari and uh, onion and scallions and um, 
uh, lime juice and uh, just a whole little mm -hmm. potpourri. It looks delicious, everybody's saying. All right, All right, let's assemble, and I can't wait to taste test this. And by the way, while she's assembling, this is one organized person. Look at this. You don't want to <laughs> see. You do not want to come to my house and take a look at my spice rack. It's nothing like this. You're shaming me. Okay. I, yeah, I'm crazy. My mom works for a spice company, so I'm very into oh. spices. And I'm wow. very, very organized. Yes, you are very organized. Okay. Uh, George McQuaid says, yes, vegans do not consume cheese, honey, or anything from an animal. No animal products. Nope. Wow, this looks so delicious. Mmm, and I love onions, and onions are good for you. Yeah. They're really good for you. And, um, hmm, there we go. Look at this. All right, never had a poke dish, raw fish, doesn't appeal to me, but they opened a new restaurant downtown. And, uh, well, let's see. Okay, here we go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at this. This is incredible. And you can always add more sauce too if you want. If you want to use more of the tamari or yeah, the aminos, sure. if you want to make it a little bit saucier. Mm, wow, it's so colorful. And you know, one of the things I want to say is that this is so guilt free. Like, uh, you can have a delicious dish, and yes, you're having your rice and your starch. There's very little fat in this. Um, if any, I mean, there's no butter, you know, oil. I mean, it's really a very yeah, just helpful the sesame dish. Oil. Just the sesame oil, which is teensy tiny. Okay, yeah. now how do we garnish this? So we're gonna use some lime wedges. All right. And what, what what's the advantage of lime when you're dealing with this? What does it do um, for the dish? It just has a really great flavor. Yeah. It helps okay. balance um, the sweetness, the bitterness of the onions. Um, it's just, it, I love lime and cilantro together too. I don't know okay. if anybody else out there does, but it's like one of my favorite flavor combinations. I love lime, cilantro, dressings, and some okay. avocado. Terrific. So, yeah, it works really well. Ooh, so we'll put some that. lime in there. Okay. And then if you have more. Take some of the, um, some of the veggies that you've chopped up yeah. and then just sprinkle them on top for pretty. Now, I do you have a, you have a cell phone, right? Me? Yeah. yeah. Will you yeah. take a couple of photos of this? Cause this oh, yeah. is so gorgeous. Um, we want to take some pictures, pretty pictures, of um, all of this. Uh, or what we could do is just let me taste one, and then we'll take pictures after we're done of the other. Yeah. Okay, so we'll do that. Um, Webb says, yep, lime and cilantro are always good. Uh, Tammy says, I'm eating Bing cherries. <laughs> oh, good for you. <laughs> and David Dybin says, I will share a cool show. Yes, yeah. thanks to Chef Melissa of... Pork and plants. Pork and plants. And uh, let's, let's. So now sesame seeds. Okay. That's what typically goes on them. Okay. I actually just bought this. I almost never have sesame seeds for some reason. I mean, you just saw, I have a yeah. like hundred spices, but I'm, I just never seem to have sesame seeds. So whenever I make this and if I don't have any, I use yeah. hemp hearts. Oh, hemp so hearts. I, Cause they yeah. kind of look the same yeah. and they're full of the yeah. omegas. They're really healthy for you. Lots of yeah. protein. Um, so if you don't have sesame seeds, just throw some hemp hearts on there. That's one of the great versatilities yeah. of vegan cooking is that you can substitute. Yeah. Okay. So we'll put some of this on there. And I take, I have a, a sesame uh, thing that is like a, I got it at Costco, I think, spicy sesame, and it has all sorts of other little spices in it. Yeah, that's And good. so it's really delicious. All right, I guess it's my turn to taste test. So uh, what we're gonna do is give me a fork and I'm ready to yeah. rock and roll. Let's get a tight shot of this though um, before we do it. I'm gonna try this one because I think this one is really pretty for the photos. Okay. So um, if you come and grab this, I will sit down and take, or actually I could just probably stand. So here we go, Hey, grab that. And um, I'm going to pop in. Ta da! We'll make it Welcome to Lunch Break Live. This is, oh, I always want to burst into song. You can just hold it right there. Um, this is fabulous yellow beet poke. And, um, mmm, mmm. First poke experience. Mmm. I never had poke. I don't, I never liked, I mean, back in the day, raw fish was not, nothing that I ever, it was always like, are you kidding me? People want to eat raw fish. Uh, now that I've been vegan for about 22 years, 
thought never crossed my mind to have any kind of a dish that's even similar to oh my God. Um, <laughs> to raw fish, but this is delicious. And oh there's a, um, a lot of poke places around LA now too, mm -hmm. and kind of all over the US. Mm -hmm. that, really? Uh, they all pretty much have a vegan option. Really? Yeah. I've noticed that, you know, one of the ways we're going to veganize the world, I obviously, I will eat at vegan restaurants whenever possible. What would not, I will go to a restaurant that has vegan options and I will compliment and I will tell the manager, thank you. Mm -hmm. Ramen places, a lot of ramen places have vegan ramen dishes. Mmm. <laughs> oh my god, this is so good. Man, you are good. All right, I'm glad you mm. like it. Oh my gosh. Mm. Any comments while I'm eating this um, fabulous dish? Marianne said you guys are very inventive. Can't wait mm. to try. Mm. George uh, sees my Berkey in the background. Mm. I love my Berkey so much. Mm. Um, What's Sesame a Berkey? Sea, um, it's that water filter behind oh. you. Yeah, it's amazing. This is amazing. <laughs> This is amazing, it's delicious. Mmm, honestly, I'm blown away by this dish. <laughs> All right, well, mm. there's lots more, so you can eat as much as you want. Mmm, I'll tell you what, one more bite, then I want to talk to you about forks in pots and forks. So, <laughs> here we go, go back to your, your uh, chef's position. All right. Tell me, what is your company, Plants and Forks? What do you do? Fork and Plants. Okay, Fork and um, Plants. Sorry, you're, so I, I was, <laughs> I was verklempt because this, the food was so great that I stopped thinking. Go ahead. All right, so I, I've had a, a foodie Instagram for like six years now. And through healing myself through food and becoming more and more passionate about veganism and health and making food for people, I decided to quit my full-time job in December and turn my Instagram in, I completely rebranded. Um, I changed my name, it used to be My Vegan Plate, and I changed it to Fork and Plants, mm -hmm. and that's basically my business. So I have my Instagram. And what does the um, business do? So what I've been doing is hosting my own events and pop-ups, um, demos, things like that, which you can always come to. Just, you can find out on my website or my Instagram when I'm having my next one. Okay. I also offer personal chef services, so if people want me to come over and cook for them or deliver them any sort of food, even if it's not a regular thing, maybe just a one-time thing, if they just want to like try a few vegan meals, I'm down with that. I can also do pantry cleanouts. So oh, if you come over to my house. I know. <laughs> um, so no, but like, but you're cleaning out the meat and dairy. Yes. Oh, that's yeah, right. And all, yeah. all the junk, the packaged foods that aren't very good for you and helping you replace them with ones that are. Will you so, take people to the grocery store? Absolutely. Yeah, I will. I've go, um, excuse me. I've gone grocery shopping with people and kind of like help point them in the right direction. Um, I can also just do grocery shopping for people if they don't want to go, but they want the healthy food there. They Maybe they don't know what to buy, so I can do that. Basically anything. Anything that's going to help people eat more vegetables. Wow. That's my goal. That's what I'm really passionate about. Um, Tell us your website again so people can visit. It is forkinplants.com. F-O-R-K-I-N-P-L-A-N-T-S.com. Forkinplants.com. Yes. Very simple because you're sticking the fork in the plants. And then and eating it. And that's it. And then <laughs> eating it. Well, I wish you the big, big, big success of all Thank time. You. I hope you get a whole bunch of uh, Hollywood types who, you know, are they, look, let's face it, Hollywood, how you look is important, how you feel is important, yeah. and so you're in the right place Definitely. to get some Hollywood stars on board with this incredible diet. And then they have great platforms, so if I'm making them vegan food and they're sharing it and to all of their wide audience, then that brings the awareness to veganism to more and more people, and the shift is going to continue to happen, and I'm so excited to be a part of it. We're now, having a great let, time. Let me ask you this question. What if people are not in L.A.? Can they still avail um, themselves of your wisdom? Yeah, absolutely. So we can do virtual Skype sessions or FaceTime sessions. Um, just if you have general questions or you want me to like help you clean out your pantry virtually, I can definitely do that. So you're like a vegan um, shrink. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever you need me to do, I'm there for you. Yeah. Um, oh, that's fantastic. I have lots of like family members. They're always, you know, emailing me with questions or wanting to know like what they should eat instead of this. So you can definitely do that type of thing. Um, meal plans, meal prepping. I can't physically do it for you if you're not in LA, but I can definitely help you along the way. We can do um, like a FaceTime cooking session where I like help you along with the recipe. And if you have questions, 
but I'm there for you. Well, I want to so. give you a big round of applause. Thank you. Uh, you are very organized. Once again, <laughs> I'm going to visit this because this, yeah. this blew me away. This is one organized lady. Everything just meticulously organized. <laughs> I spend all my time in my kitchen, so it's got to be organized for me. And and she's so organized. She did something. You have to show this because I love yes. what you did. Absolutely. I, love this board I, got. I can't Let's believe you. That. Why didn't I think of that? Now I'm mad at myself. You'll so, have to get one and take it with you. Yes, me. I will. Will absolutely. Uh, you sh you'll teach me. Yes. All right, Chef Melissa Fork Implants. Yours yes. says David Fork and Plants. This is ForkInPlants.com. Yeah. But thank you for trying to help. We love the audience. Join us every day at 12.30 p.m. Pacific for Lunch Break Live. Bye. Bye.